So guys, looking at the rookie, Zach Moss, they brought him in. What are your thoughts around Zach Moss? I have Zach Moss at running back 54 um, <laughs> to start out with. Uh, I just do. And, and it's nothing yeah. against Zach Moss. It's just I, I'm not trusting many, if any, rookies for the 2020 season. I feel like there wow. is – there is a lot to be said about them missing rookie training camp and trying to digest playbooks via Microsoft teams and not being able to get in the weight room with NFL caliber strength and conditioning coaches and really get that NFL body put on them. And yeah, you can have a dietitian and your strength coach, you know, hit you up on Skype or whatever and say, Hey, this is what I want you to work on. You know, this is your workout regimen for this week. You know, we're trying to get this done. But every time, you know, one of the major networks interviews a rookie, well, you know, what's one thing you didn't expect? And all of them, all of them, oh, the game's just so fast. Like, it's just catching up with the speed. Like, it's just such a cliche thing, but all of them say it. So, okay, I'm going to buy into it this year. It's going to be a little too fast. So I, I just, I, I think that. Frank Gore, the Frank Gore carries from last year. He had about a hundred and almost 190 carries last year with the bills. I think that's pretty much getting split up evenly. Like I think the extra carries that you're going to see Singletary with elevates him from 32 to, you know, RB two, whether it's, you know, 23, 24, 25 in that range. And then you're going to see about 80 ish for Zach Moss. Most of which are going to come as a spell for Devin Singletary and inside the red zone. I don't see him catching a lot of passes out of the backfield, um, his rookie season. And, and all this really sounds like I'm dumping on the kid, but uh, this year is what I don't like. I think that he's going to show a lot of potential, and it would not surprise me if two years from now he overtakes Singletary. Like he, he has a more NFL build automatically than Devin Singletary does. He he possesses a strength that just Zev, Devin Singletary doesn't have. So 2020, I don't like Zach Moss, but I think the kid has a bunch of potential. I think the Vikings got a great, you know, great value for where they drafted him. He's going to serve a purpose on the team, but he's not, he's not 2020 ready. And so like with most rookies, you know, if he's clearly the best pick on the board, yeah, I'm going to snatch him. But I'm not reaching for him. I don't care how much the Bills want to run the football this year. It's just not my cup of tea. To your point, Kevin, for rookies to get on the field, you know, and to see the um, the amount of snaps that, that they need to get, they need to learn, especially at the running back position, they need to learn how to pass protect. That's going to be very hard to figure out while looking at a playbook virtually and not seeing the pictures in practice and seeing, you know, what these defenses look like. And as you said, the speed of these defenses, I mean, we're, you can go from playing Pac-12 football where it is speed, but it's not just speed in the NFL, it's speed and intelligence, you know, like that, that's, that's a huge deal. And so, like you said, Kevin, a lot of these rookies are missing out on, at least having some semblance of that in in a, a rookie mini camp where you do get to kind of see, you know, at least guys that are NFL caliber. Yeah, maybe they're rookies, but they're NFL caliber um, being brought into camps and getting that that speed. So pass protection to me is going to be a huge deal for Zach Moss in terms of just being able to be on the field. And I, I don't know that that's going to happen uh, immediately in this season. So that to me is is a huge thing. But yes, his his ability to uh, you know, run the football is, is especially in those short yardage situations, which I think the bills would totally be comfortable with four yard play every time. Like, I think that they're totally comfortable with that controlling the clock. Um, I'm not, I'm not huge really on any of the bills players, just because I'm not sure that I think that this offense is going to be explosive, uh, this year, but uh, that to me is, is the knock on, on Zach Moss is that he's, he's missing out on all this time as a rookie. And it, it's a knock with all the rookies. He's missing out on all this time and all this learning that could have happened, um, through a rookie mini camp, a mini camp and OTAs, um, that he could, he could be learning, learning the system. So yeah, I think he'll, hawk, <clears throat> excuse me. I think he'll hawk some touchdowns, but, uh, 
the value beyond that, I'm not sure I see it this year. I've got him ranked slightly higher than, than what you threw out there, Kevin. I've got him at 45 instead of 54. But again, that's one of those that there's not a, a ton that separates those guys out typically when you start talking about, you know, guys in running back four or five territory.